Hey everyone, on this week's Thrive in Five, I wanted to remind you about the importance of making time for fun and friendship in your life. You know, having relationships and friendships is not only something that gives us a ton of joy, and I don't know about you, but I often laugh a lot when I'm with people that I care about, and laughter is good for your body for so many reasons. However, being connected with other people and having time for social relationships pursuing interests that uh, you care about, but more importantly, just the time with other people is really important for your health. And I know that sometimes it can be really hard for people to sometimes you know, try new things or get involved in new social groups or sporting clubs or you know, pick up a new hobby, but it's really important for you to get engaged with other people because it's detrimental to your health if you don't have a lot of social connections. Some pretty cool research has been going on on this topic for, for many years, and one of the studies that I often talk about in the practice is that you know one group of researchers from Harvard looked at people who had a lot of friends versus people who didn't, and when they correlated all their evidence, what they found was that people who didn't have a lot of social connections um, actually had the same type of risk to their health as did those who were overweight or those who were smoking. We know those are two things that are hazardous to your health. So I wanted to remind you today to make time for your friends, to make time for fun. This has come up this morning in two different situations. First, I was talking with a fellow who's a real estate agent here in town, and he talked about people who relocate to my area, who retire, and then still find it really isolating because they haven't connected with people and they haven't really gotten involved in their community. Then I was talking with a young mom in the practice who was also, she overheard our conversation. She was talking about how it can be really isolating when you have a new baby because, you know, sometimes you're chained to the schedule of your child and you want to make sure they have enough sleep and you're not comfortable maybe getting out with your baby or it seems like it's more of a production. But at all stages of life, whether you have new babies or young active children or you're working, and I know you're busy if you're working, you're juggling all those things, or if you're retired, you need to make time for relationships and for fun in your life and to meet new people. It's good for you for so many reasons. So a couple of tips for you. Uh, obviously, get involved in your community. I know in our area here in Collingwood, there are so many recreational uh, hobby clubs. There's the running group, there's the hiking group, there's the cycling group, there's the rowing group. This time of year being beautiful, there's no shortage of opportunities to get involved and do something physical while connecting with new people. Obviously, there's also social clubs. There's the Provis groups. There's the groups that meet to discuss long, lifelong learning. There's lots of fitness facilities that you can engage with different group programs. There's social, there's the movie club, there's all kinds of places and ways where you can get connected with people. So find out what's in your community. Great way to do this is to stop by. Um, in our area, we have a 211 call center, which means you can stop in there and find out or even call them to find out what programs are around. There's also always you know, flyers and things posted at our local library, at some of the local cafes, at um, some of the you know community spots around town, the arenas, the rec centers. So get involved and look at things. You know, think about what piques your interest. Where can you explore something, and where can you try a new skill? Where can you learn something that you don't really, um, you haven't tried before? Because that not only is going to help you meet a whole group of new people, it's also going to be good for your brain. So those are my two tips for you. Just make sure that you're getting out in your community. Try to get involved, try to volunteer, try to just even get out of your house and get out for a walk. You never know who you're gonna meet on the street. I mean, maybe it's just me, but I'm always running into people and talking to people. And certainly those kind of personal, indirect, one-on-one -on -one relationships, group relationships, they are good for your health. So your quick tip this week is to make time for your friends, make time for fun, connect with other people because it will support your health. I hope this helps you. Have a fabulous day. See you soon.